The first thing we're going to cover is actually, I mean, I like to say it back to the basics. We keep it simple, guys. Simplicity scales and plus complexity fails. Back to the basics requirements for any BTM business, guys. Then number two, the second lesson we're going to go over is leveraging your business credit to scale twice as fast, guys. All right. I know you guys are excited for this one. We have seven figure Alex. Um, he is, uh, well, I mean, I'll, I'll let him introduce himself when he comes on, guys. And then from there, I'm going to be going over remote and passive, basically how to remotely manage your BTM business. And at the end, guys, yes, I'm going to mention the raffle. That's one thing. But there are some very important announcements after this, guys. So I want you to stay tuned. We're going to keep this live to maximum of an hour. So we'll be done. We're going through this quick, guys. All right. All right, all right, all right, guys, what's going on? Get them here with ATMtogether.com. Welcome to another weekly live. Today's a very special live. It is uh, October 17th, 2023. Super excited to have you guys on here. We are pre-recording this for our YouTube channel. So if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. That's gonna be below over here. And if you're watching a replay, whether it's a minute from now, 10 minutes from now, or 10 months from now, I want you to comment replay. And here's the reason why, guys. So we have these weekly lives every single week just to provide as much value as possible because what you have to understand is there's enough business out there for everybody even if you just collect 0.0001 percent of the business of the world you're gonna be a multi-millionaire guys so there's enough out there for everybody this helps us reach out to everybody we need to and if you have some friends that want to join also make sure you tag them in here don't be selfish don't keep the secrets to yourself guys all right so with that being said guys I know some of you guys are joining from fresh and fit from yesterday. So if you're just joining us, this is your first time. You're like, man, I want to check out what these dudes are about, or maybe you want to learn how to get a, a free ATM. Hey, let's keep it real. It's all good. I want you to comment network below. And the reason why is because at the end of the day, your network will either build you or it will either tear you down. I'm telling you right now, it might, I might be quoting the Bible or the Quran. I don't know, but I'm telling you right now, your network equals your net worth guys. Okay. So with that being said, we're also going to be opening our offices pretty soon. I, I don't, we mentioned it yesterday. I think on the podcast, I forgot. I was, I was, I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty tired yesterday. I had that energy drink, hit it on. And I was like, let's go. But with that being said, we're going to have our office in Miami, Florida. It's going to be downtown a few blocks away from Brickell. So how many guys would be interested in maybe showing up, getting some free sales training, maybe some training on how to find locations. I want you to comment training below. All right, comment training because we're going to gauge the interest depending on like how much resources we put over there. We're probably going to have like an in house training academy just for clients to just show up and be like, hey, I want to get some skills on X, Y, and Z networking, marketing, sales, um, locations, installs, whatever you want, guys. All right. Before we even get into our lessons, let me break down a little bit about ourselves, guys. So let me um, share my screen because I know this is actually a lot of your guys' first time with us. Okay. So, uh, there we go. All right, guys. So a little bit about us, guys. So ATM together, we've been around for a little while. So we actually started working with clients back in January of 2021. We were in business since November of 2020, guys. We're kind of in the background, you know, messaging people. Hey, do you want a location? Things like that. Since then, guys, we have helped over 2,500 people across the U.S., across Mexico, and across Canada. And we're soon going to be expanding, like I mentioned, to Spain. And we're looking at a few other places that we can't let other companies know yet. All right. We have installed over 2,700 ATMs, over 250 BTMs across the U.S. Also, you see some sprinkles over there. And we've also helped generate over $1.2 million in passive income, not for ourselves, but for our clients, guys, right? Because your client's success is what drives results. So some of you guys are probably wondering, like, who the heck is getting? Well, a little bit of myself, just super brief. I was in the Marine Corps, like I mentioned, when I joined at the age of 18, three days after my birthday, Marine Corps recruiter was like, hey, what do you want to do? I was like, I just want to shoot guns and run after people, right? Um, actually got into law enforcement in the city of Oakland, California, guys. That's a picture of me, my uh, my scrapping photo in the hood, right? But uh, retired as a uh, police sergeant, decided, hey, the law enforcement life wasn't for me, got into business with Paul. I mean... <sighs> Before law enforcement, I, I I put this in red, guys, and I don't really talk about it as much, but I mean, I was hurting. I was over $50,000 in credit card debt, and I was homeless for a bit. Estranged from my family, got into a really bad relationship, that didn't work out. God forbid. I mean, thank God I got out of that. But when it came down to it, guys, the reason why I bring this up for you guys is because I'm a glitch in the system. I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm not special. I'm not special whatsoever. You guys should be looking at me and be like, man, like I could easily do better than this guy. And guess what? You probably can. You're probably smarter than me. You're probably faster than me. And you probably have better ideas than me. 
But at the end of the day, it comes down to taking action, guys. And that's the reason why I bring this up, because at the end of the day, I hope you surpass me. I hope you surpass myself, Paul, all of our network, because one day we'll come to you and like, hey, man, we need help with this. All right, guys, so let's do this. I'm going to get um, my man, seven fig. Let's where you at? Hey, what's up, get him? How we doing, man? How you doing, man? Hey, doing great, man. Doing great. Thank you for having me uh, here on the call. Uh, you know, I did uh, create a small presentation, but before we get going with that, guys, I just want to share with you guys, um, you know, how I even ended up, you know, getting so involved with credit. And uh, for me, um, you know, I actually came to the U.S. Uh, with immigrant parents, right? So I don't know why, but I mean, I was pretty much raised, guys, uh, you know, with fear of actually getting credit, right? So, man, as soon as I got out of high school, like, uh, you know, I started getting those uh, letters in the mail, like, hey, you know, you've been pre-approved for a card or, or things like that. And I just remember, like, my parents would literally, like, shred the cards and will tell me, like, stay away from credit, right? Um, but, guys... I'm, I, I gotta stop. Like, look, I know I see the comments in, in the audience right now. Yeah. How many of you guys got family like that where they're like, whoa, 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 like don't mess with credit? Comment credit below. Comment credit because I just want to get your guys' opinion. My family was the exact same way. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't use credit cards. We don't get loans. But they're putting cash under their mattress. If I ever needed something, I, you know, once in a while, I'll look that up, get a little dollar out of there, right? Yeah. Because I want to yeah. get your guys' opinion on that. Yeah. Okay. Common credit. If, if if you were raised that way, guys, common credit, because, you know, I literally had a fear of credit. Like I was, you know, um, influenced by my parents not to use credit whatsoever. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, uh, you know, that that's how I started um, knowing about credit. Right. I'll just get those little mails in the letter, uh, those little uh, letters in the mail. And so, like I said, my parents will rip them apart. And, you know, I started meeting other people. Um, along the way of, of me becoming an entrepreneur that were actually leveraging credit, right? And um, it just got to the point where I had to kind of decide for my own self what was best for me. And, you know, I started to, to see that a lot of people were very successful and, you know, they would always talk about credit. So um, what happened to me is, um, you know, I started to learn a little bit about credit, right? And my dad actually helped me start uh, selling cars on Craigslist, right? So I started doing that, guys, as a side hustle for myself, right? Had just gotten out of high school. Um, like I said, was scared of credit, but I was learning a little bit about credit and I started becoming a entrepreneur, right? By selling cars on Craigslist, um, right? I just wanted to build a second stream of income. So um, what happened there, guys, is I actually ended up doing that for two years while I was living with my parents, right? Um, and it worked and it actually went like pretty good for me, um, because I didn't have to pay rent or anything like that. Right. When I was living with my parents that I actually got to put money away. Okay. And, uh, when I got to put some money away, um, my dad and my older brother were actually selling cars on Craigslist as well. Okay. But something happened, get them where the DMV was actually getting people in trouble for reselling cars on the streets. Right. So something happened where like DMV started getting involved and we're like, hey, you know, this phone number has too many listings of vehicles. Let's look into that. Right. So when that happened, um, one of my buddies owned a DMV office and he was like, Alex, if I was you and your family, I will look into getting a car dealership license so you guys don't end up losing your vehicles and get into trouble. So long story short, guys, I ended up taking over a small lot and opened up a, a car dealership, right? A small car dealership probably had like 10 cars, right? And I was selling those cars in cash, okay? So most of those cars were probably worth $5,000, okay? So that happened for me. And the guy that actually gave me the lease to the property, um, he became my mentor, Right. So when I took over this little lot, he was like, Alex, I'm telling you right now, man, like you want to be able to leverage your credit. Right. So long story short, he started teaching me about credit. He showed me how I can actually go and get a credit line for my business, guys. And that's when I really like my mind just was blown away about credit. Right. I ended up getting a loan for my business for 80 grand. And I went from selling cars that were five thousand dollars to selling cars that were about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. 
and everybody wanted to uh, finance these vehicles, right? So I went from selling cars that were cash to selling cars where people just wanted to finance them and they wanted to put a small down payment uh, to be able to take those cars home with them, right? So when that happened, guys, when I started financing these vehicles, I got to see how so many people were denied from getting a car due to their credit, right? So obviously, guys, when there's an issue or a problem, right, there's a solution and, and there's money attached to it, right? So I was like, hey, why, why don't I learn about credit? Like, why don't I learn how to be able to fix these people's credit? And then I could also be able to sell them a car after I fix their credit, right? So that is my my story, guys, on how I got with credit. And like I said, guys, my life has changed. Um, I've been able to access like $400,000 in uh, business funding for myself. And I've been able to, you know, have a seven-figure business, a multiple six-figure business, right? And I've been able to literally change my life with credit, guys. And all I can tell you guys is that, you know, if, if you're an adult, um, you know, learn from people like Getum, learn from people like Paul, learn from people like me, right? It, it's okay if you were um, scared to use credit or if you weren't uh, educated on how to use it and how to leverage it. It's okay, guys. You can always restart. Okay. So um, I did create that's, this. That's, man, that, that was a phenomenal story, guys. I mean, I know people, are, I mean, where are actually, Alex, where are you located right now? I'm looking at yeah, the view. I'm, I'm like, it's bright outside. Yeah. I'm in uh, San Diego, California. So I'm uh, Pacific time. San Diego. That's what I'm talking about, guys. If you're excited, I mean, like, because obviously, I mean, he's telling you he didn't he didn't come from like, you know, the riches, right? That's truly a rag to riches story. So you guys are excited. You're like, hey, you know what? That's going to be me next. I'm going to build. I want you to comment build below. Comment build because this is your accountability partner, guys. When you comment, you're going to see notifications a week from now. And it's going to remind you like, you know what? I told myself a week ago, I'm going to do this. So when you're not feeling good, when you're tired, maybe you're sick, you're going to keep taking action, guys. And this is, I mean, this is literally a, a case in point example, right? So, man, I, Alex, I got I to gotta let you keep going, man. Yeah, thank you, man. So um, I did create a presentation here. Just give me one second uh, to see if I can actually share it. Uh, it. Give me one second. There we go. There we go. Cool. Awesome, guys. So like I said, guys, I want to just give you guys, you know, this is a quick presentation, but I just want to give you guys the basics of credit and then also just give you guys a little bit of insights, right? If you're going to be able to leverage your credit where you at right now, and if you are not in a position to leverage your credit, well, guess what? I can actually help you be able to get to the point where we actually fix it, right? And you can go ahead and leverage your credit and be able to make investments, get into the ATM industry, right? And be able to start generating passive income. So like I said, guys, let me go over this uh, small presentation. And I hope that you guys get a little bit of knowledge and just understand the basics of credit. So like I said, I named this understanding credit. And the first thing that I want you guys to know, guys, is how your credit score is actually scored, right? I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't even know this really till I actually started my uh, credit repair business about four years ago, right? So if you don't know how your credit score is actually scored, it's completely okay. I'm going to tell you right now that most people don't, okay? So I'll start off um, with this little chart and show you guys um, how it's actually scored. So if you guys can tell, guys, I just want to point out some big factors here, right? 30%, like if you guys can actually see what are the biggest chunks of your credit score, it's going to be the amount that you owe, right? And the payment history, okay? So um, when we're talking about payment history, guys, we're talking about like those late payments, those collections, those charge-off accounts, right? If you have a repossession or even a bankruptcy, right? That's going to land in your payment history, okay? Amounts owed is going to be pretty much like if you have, let's just say you have five credit cards, right? And every credit card has $2,000, um, of uh, credit limit on it, right? So that means you have $10,000 in, in total of credit limits, right? And if you're like maxed out on those cards, so if you're using like 9,000 or 10,000, then, you know, that's gonna decrease your credit score by up to 30%, right? Because amounts owed is 30%, okay? So just know that if if you're maxed out or, or you know, a lot of those cards are about to be maxed out, then you, your credit score is actually gonna suffer a lot because 30% is, you know, how much you actually owe on those credit cards, okay? 10% is going to be the credit mix. So having different accounts, right? One, one could be like a credit card 
where like your monthly payment can fluctuate. And then the other one could be like a uh, like a car payment where it's like it's the same payment every month. Right. Uh, so that's going to be 10 percent credit history was 15 percent. That's pretty much like how long you've uh, had a credit for. So if you've had a credit for a year, you had credit for two years or three years, that's going to be your credit history. OK, and then new credit. Um, like it says right there is the less influential. It's like if you've got a new credit within the last two years, you know, um, you do want to get some new credit, um, you know, at least one new account a year um, because, you know, the credit like the actual bureaus, they still want you to be active and, and you know, continue to obtain credit. Right. So I just want to share that with you guys. So you guys get a, a small understanding on that. And then also you want to know where you at right now. Right. So the best thing that you can know right now is like. Where you at right if you can tell here um very bad goes up to a 560 credit score um bad goes all the way up to 650 after you have a 650 guys you have fair credit and after you have a 700 plus you actually have good credit and a 750 you actually have excellent credit right so it's very good to know where you at guys the first thing you want to do is monitor your credit right if you're not monitoring your credit right now it's very important guys even if you're scared to check it out i'm telling you right now that it's best to actually take a look at it and i'm telling you guys right now guys because i've helped over three thousand people fix their credit okay in the last four years you can fix your credit all right so just know that don't be scared let's start today by you know, taking action and working on your future so you can fix your credit, right? So you can use an app like Experian, you can use, uh, you know, uh, Identity IQ, Smart Credit, and there's a couple other ones that I can provide for you guys um, as well, okay? And then knowing where you are with your uh, credit score will actually determine, guys, if you're in a position where you can actually leverage your credit as of now, okay? Now, the typical credit score for you to access funding is going to be around a 680 credit score, okay? And also, for the most part, you don't want to have late payments or negative accounts. Okay, negative accounts could be anything like late payments, charge off accounts. Um, uh, what do you call that? Um, you know, delinquent accounts, right? Like uh, charge offs and anything that's negative, guys. All right, it could be late payments. It could be if it already went to collections, right? And then you also um, want to have three to five open accounts, preferably, guys, with already having a. Um, uh, decent credit limits, all right, and that's going to be five to ten thousand dollars combined in limits, right? So if you have a couple uh, open accounts and they total to five to ten thousand dollars, then you're in a good position, all right. Now, um, if you don't have a six eighty credit score, guys, it's fine because me and my company can actually help you guys, and we're also guys going to give you guys fifty percent off uh, from your service, right? So if you don't have good credit, guys. Just drop the word credit on the chat. And after this call is done, right? After you guys get all the value that get, I'm still gonna provide for you guys. As soon as I'm off here, I'll reach out to you after the call and give you guys a lot of information. I even have some, some ways that you guys can actually um, understand what the actual uh, disputing uh, works, right? So I'll give you guys some knowledge. I'll give you guys some free resources. Um, Cause my main thing is like, I wanna educate you guys and give you guys some free resources as well, where you guys can actually take action on your own as well. OK, so drop the word credit, guys. And like I said, I'll reach out to you guys after this call. OK, man, that was man, that was a phenomenal presentation. So, guys, you know, I want to even add some more value because um, I, I don't know if you had some more because I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, it's you off it's almost done, man. It's almost done. Yeah. But yeah, guys, like pretty much, guys, if you guys are not there, don't worry about it. OK, I'm going to tell you guys right now, like we've helped so many people, literally over 3000 people in the last four years. And we've helped them get into homes, vehicles, and even start businesses, guys. Okay, so I'm telling you guys right now, if you if you don't have it, it's completely okay. And if you do have it, guys, well, guess what? We can actually help you obtain the funding so you guys can actually start your business with ATM together. Okay, so like I said, we have the solution, guys. If you guys have the credit score, we got you. We'll make it happen, right? If you don't have it, we got you. We'll make it happen, guys. I'm telling you guys, I'm here to take care of you. I want to see you win. I want to see you succeed. And I know that ATM Together is a like a great, great company with great reviews. So why not help you win, right? Before I end this call and, and let Gadam get back to business, let me just share with you guys a couple uh, credit cards. And I literally pulled these out of my credit um, out of my wallet right now before the thing, guys. Like I, there's no research I had to do. I just have to literally go on my wallet and pull these cards out, right? So these cards that you guys see on the screen, guys, if you guys want to write this down um, or even just message me after this call. I'll give you guys, you know, 
the cards that you guys can can use right so the amex blue cash card uh it's going to give you zero percent interest for up to 12 months right um i think my first approval on that card was about twenty five thousand. uh the navy federal platinum card guys i literally got approved for this card and i was only a member of navy fed for maybe two weeks <laughs> i got twenty thousand dollars on that zero percent interest 12 months the chase ink card uh i believe i got forty thousand on that zero percent interest 12 months and that and then fnbo evergreen i think i got about fifteen thousand on that if i'm right and it's a zero percent interest card guys so i'm telling you guys i'm giving you guys some you know some free value here these are cards that you guys can you know take advantage of and start your business okay so that's that's all i got for today get them uh, you know do, do you have any questions for me uh before i let you you know continue with your thing yeah 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 so i know we had some questions um guys so let's let's do like um like two questions in regards to maybe um like business credit um funding even personal credit guys i want to answer two questions because we're running short on time um let's, let's see what we got from the uh the audience i want to see anybody have a question while we have alex here I and mean, this is your opportunity to just i mean he obviously is an expert in the space so you might as well take advantage of the expertise for your personal situation guys all right uh let's see this so so before because i don't see any comments yet okay i had a great question for you so i get this yeah. all the time so is it better to start with say um a personal credit card or a uh, business credit card when you're launching a business yeah so if you know if you don't already have the llc in place and all that stuff right like it just depends where you at guys if you already have like a a great credit score right and your actual credit utilization on your personal side isn't over like 30 percent you're actually in a good position to start an LLC and go and get these get this credit under your business, right? Um, but it just depends on like the time frame that you want to get this money. Okay, so it just depends where you at, guys. Um, I would say if you already have a good personal uh, credit score, yes, we can actually help you set up your LLC and all that stuff and, and be able to access that that money on the business side quick. So it is a possibility if you can get it on on the business side first. If that's an option for you, I recommend it because it's not going to show up on your personal uh, credit. So it's not going to affect you even if you go and max out these cards and leverage the entire money that you get, guys. OK, gotcha. Gotcha. OK, um, so um, let me see some questions here. Um, Alexis, can you send me your info? Yeah, we'll, we'll forward the info um, after this, but let me get one. So this is kind of pretty specific, but I have a call zone of 10K, multiple accounts, like five accounts, two charge offs and a collection. Am I still in a good position? right yeah so what we what we do recommend guys is to try to fix your credit first if you do have some negative items right and the reason for that is because one it's gonna make sure that you actually qualify for the funding and two is like we're gonna make sure that you're good you know moving forward and that you could actually get maximum funding as well right because dude what if we can help you get like 10 atms or like five yeah. btms right like we want to make sure that you know you get the maximum amount of funding so you can make the most amount of uh passive income makes sense makes well, sense recommended, um, uh, to yeah. Fix it first. yeah okay got you so um let me do this uh this uh, we'll do we'll do one more question after this why wouldn't you get a cash back credit card instead of a business card for a business why wouldn't you get a cash back credit card instead of a business card for a business why wouldn't you get a cash back uh what exactly do they mean by that like on the personal side first or yeah i think it's more like a why don't i get like you know like a, a chase i'm just naming off random ones like a chase visa rewards versus like you know that business card like what's like the benefits um like a personal card versus a business card i think I that's see. probably yeah. what they're referring uh, yeah, to. yeah yeah i'm like i think that's what they mean um mm -hmm. guys uh if you can get like how how we do it right we like to get people business funding first because it's not going to affect their personal credit, right? So how we do it with my company, we attempt to get people business credit first, and then we still get you guys more funding on the personal side after, right? Because we don't want to do that backwards. Imagine if we actually get you the funding on the personal first and you go ahead and start leveraging it, then you're going to block yourself out from business credit, right? So what we want to do is actually start leveraging the business credit if it's a possibility for you. Um, we want to get you the business funding and then we want to get you some personal funding. So it, usually that's the best way to go, guys. Gotcha. And we'll do one more question because we have one more. So um, will a business credit card hurt your personal credit? Yeah, so it won't, guys. It's not going to show on your personal credit. 
Um, so you can actually like use 100% of that card and it's not going to affect your personal credit. So that's actually the main reason why we had, we try to go with uh, business credit first max that out make sure that we get you a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars right and then we go ahead and get get you uh um personal funding you can still go ahead and get another hundred thousand or even more right so just do the math guys we're talking three hundred thousand dollars or even more it's insane gotcha nice that's what i'm talking about guys all right so i mean we're about to run out of time but um man if you guys enjoyed the lesson right and you want a copy of this later after this if you want us to send you a copy Comment replay below. Comment replay just so we know you actually found value out of this lesson. Maybe we'll bring Alex. You want to come on another time? We got to. You're dropping gems today. I really enjoyed it. I appreciate it, man. This is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good. But um, no, no, I appreciate it, man. Um, I will. I'm more than likely probably invite you next week or a week after that because we're getting a lot of feedback that people like want questions on credit they want to grow on building because a lot of the people have that entrepreneurial mindset to scale right and we understand yeah. that so i like it appreciate 100%. it man all right guys appreciate you guys uh like i said drop the word credit if you actually need help and like i said we can help you guys even get the funding guys so i'll see you guys soon thank you get them appreciate you man yeah, for sure take care all right and that was <laughs> That was some gems, guys. I'm super excited. I'll sit in the background taking notes. I got like, uh, if you guys see, I have a um, my freaking uh, my board in the background. I'm always taking notes, guys. All right. So uh, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get into the final lesson here. I'm gonna make this very quick, right? So um, I actually have a presentation for you guys. I figured you like, I uh, like you know some super simple powerpoints, all right? So um, let me see if I can.